It was Bleach? Good. Yeah. Great album. All right. So let's go ahead and get started for YouTube. Hello, folks. Welcome back, YouTube and Switch folks, uh, to what should be, unless Ankh led us wrong, which I don't think they would. Uh, this will probably be the last stream slash video uh, for Vampire. Uh, now, I did... Remember we left, I was slightly irritated by that monk quest. So I did finish it up. Apparently, just the number they show by the quest, like 404, 304, is just either off or they do it in some weird Euro way. Uh, because there was a whole nother page I hadn't found, uh, which luckily I, the next place I looked for that was listed on the walkthrough uh, had it. I grabbed it, turned it in. Uh, I also found another NPC. Um, we're not gonna go talk to him. And uh, frankly, at this point, if he has a mission, I probably won't bother to do it. Uh, where was he? It was one of those people who's like, we still hadn't found yet, like way from the beginning, I thought. Uh, this guy, uh, Katagun Bates. So I actually found him uh, at the at the Braille page uh, and set him free, obviously. So uh, we're not going to go bother finding him. I don't know where this guy is. I don't really care. But we do have all of the side missions done that I am aware of. And again, if that guy has one, I'm almost certainly not going to do it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what I looked at. I must have looked up Scruff, S-C-R-U-F-F, -F, and that was a little bit too off. Anyway, we were talking about the Nirvana song. Anyway, so I don't, I don't remember what we got from that. Uh, whatever it was, it wasn't that great. I was still kind of in a huff. I'd just be glad to get it done. But I did go ahead and finish that mission. Uh, also, accidentally, I, I thought I was going to need to make a thing. Uh, so I actually learned how to make the uh, antidote, the Tear of Angels. I didn't make it yet, so I'll do that now. And I hope they don't make us rest. The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. The story, the origin of the skulls in London. Will do. I'm gonna guess it's way the shit away. Yep, of course, it is on literally the other side of town. Wonderful. All right, well, we can have a little chat, I guess, as we head on over. I, I don't wanna rest <laughs> because the districts are so healthy right now. Like, we have, what, two or three of them completely clean? Uh, that one's sanitized, that one's sanitized, that one's serious. And this one is healthy. So, like, I don't want to sleep again because I don't know, given what we chose, I don't know if people stay permanently unsick. Or what? Uh, we will, actually, now that I think about it, I will be stopping along the way. To make some more potions though just because we're at the end so might as well make all the uh the serums or whatever they're called but i i think with the option we chose where he gave the money i think people might stay permanently unsick because i ended up watching uh gg gab's stream uh the the person we raided i think it left up here is that right no you go across and left okay but um, I ended up watching her play, and she was actually about the same part we were at. So she was with what's his face, the rich old guy, and trying to decide what to do with him. And uh, she, let's go ahead and mark this. And people in the chat, like, she was like straight up, like, just tell me which one to pick to make sure I don't lose a district, because I guess she had actually lost one of her districts. Because uh, she killed a few too many folks. But um, anyway, the, a few people in chat mentioned that if you convert him, it will cure everybody one night. But then after that night, everything goes back to to normal. Uh, but I didn't get confirmation one way or the other is if you if you like if you, if you make him repent or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that I don't know, and I didn't bother to look it up because I didn't care that much. Because I didn't plan on resting. Which, part of me is like, I'm probably going to be regretting that. But we'll see, I guess. Alright, where is this hideout of mine? Is it on the ground floor? Yeah, I want to go in there real quick and make some... Wait, ah, uh, these random ass markers it puts on the map. Because I know that's not 300 meters away. Where is it? 
Anyway, it's southwest. It's this one. So it must be on the other side of this. Uh, no, she also did the same thing I did. Because we told her, because if she wanted the best one, I think that is the best. It makes sense, too, because it's also the hardest one to get. Where in the hell? No, nope. god damn it. Not that one. Oh, it's up this way. I was thinking of that building. Oh, this is in our house. A very, very fine house. All right, let's make some serum. I reached the hive. Uh, what's an EVE Online, lady? Let's see. We're just going to make everything we can because why not at this point? All right, so that's all of them. Drop on down and continue on to the main quest. Hello. <laughs> they really need to give this guy his own di his own sound effects. Giving him the kind of the weaky the weak sound effects. Ugh. Damn it, we're gonna have to kill this guy because he's in our way. And we can but we need to go back up and go outside the other side of the house. I guess this will give me some practice to get back into swing of things, so to speak. Give me a little bit of blood, too. Oh, I also had another crash, and I think I figured out what it is. Remember how we had the, the one, not the lockup, but the actual crash? From what I can tell, that is due to... Um, if I use my invisibility trait, and then very quickly after that do a melee swing, that might cause it to crash, or it might be... Going invisible, doing a melee swing, and then getting hit. Because I think in both case in both cases, I know I turned invisible and then immediately tried to, to hit an enemy afterwards. But I think I also get hit in both cases too. So it like broke stealth both from like me attacking uh, and or getting hit, and it did the exact same thing. It crashed the same way. So I think that uh, was why that one time the game crashed. But anyway. I love how the final cherry on the icing of that cake. Like so it's locked. Was that that of that quest being a pain in my ass was that it was on the like about as far away from the, the uh, next step of the main story quest was uh, or as far as it could have been. Hello. No. I was going to say, yeah, everybody should be healthy except that one guy. And I don't know where he's at. And I frankly don't care. He can stay sick. He's like the one sick person in town. At least sick in that way. And yes, I did forget. Sorry, I gotta keep checking the map. So we go basically southeast, try to hit the river, and then follow that until we get to the bridge. We gotta try to avoid fights as much as we can. Just so we can get the hell where we're going. Die, <laughs> Die vermin! Uh, I meant west, not south. God damn it. We'll get there. This game needs fast travel really badly. No, the other west. How the fuck do I get out of here? Okay, so if I go northeast, there should be an opening in the gate. All right, this, and then we go west. What? Oh, no, okay. If we go south from here, what a goddamn maze. Everything has to be in this game. Okay, so here's the bridge. I did find out, too, that uh, if you use the invisibility and if you actually sneak, And if you actually sneak, it actually does work. Like, they won't see you. Wow. If 
Find the werewolf who didn't scale up. I had the best ending for my character? I hope so. Well, I mean, I actually... I don't care too much. As long as they don't give us, like, a bad one just because one person died. Because one choice that we could have never guessed that would lead to a death ended in a death. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with unexpected consequences, right? Like, to some extent, that's, that's fine. Not everything kind of goes as planned. Um, I'm hesitant to drop down there. They really have to make this such a pain in the fuck. Oh, that's right. We're heading. Oh, we need to go to the asylum. That's right. We go to the asylum, and we can get in there through the back. Uh, through Sean, I think his name was, through his office. That's right. Oh, Eve Online woman, the explodey lady. I thought we were talking about Gab, and I was like, how is she Eve Online lady? I didn't hear her. The screamy woman. I've been pushing her out of my head. All right, is this the right building even? Yeah, I think so. Can I go up here? No, I can't. It's around here. God damn it. Why does everything have to be such a pain in the ass in this game? Or at least traveling around has to be such a pain in the ass. Might as well loot everything. We never did get that one upgrade, damn it. The gun upgrade that would make it shoot like white phosphorus. That's a shame. God damn it, where is Sean's building at? It's locked. Yeah, shut up. Can we get down there this way too? If we can get down there this way, I'll just go this way. But I know there was a shortcut. God damn it. I know there was a shortcut in his office. Now I just gotta remember where the fuck he is. It's locked, all right. Maybe it was a different building. Ah, oh, Christ. Check over here. Son of a bitch! Oh, here we go. I think this is his office. Yeah. Whatever. I'm pretty sure this leads there either way, so. Now, this is, I don't think this is a shortcut, but it leads there. That's all I care about. As long as we're going in the right direction, we good. I'm going to guess either she's already gone berserk and she started killing people, or we're going to have to try to convince them to lit us kill her and that's going to be a thing this place has been ransacked well they've all been slaughtered no Pre no not their style what do you mean this is exactly their style where, was she where has harriet gone she must have left a trail I could follow. Of blood, probably. Please don't tell me it's actual blood trail. I mean, there's blood everywhere. Sure. I still don't understand if the, the, the Spanish flu, the actual Spanish flu, has anything to do with her mutation or not. Like, if it was just a combination of things. I think that'd be kind of a cool idea that it wasn't one thing that set this all off it wasn't the transfusion of the blood it wasn't her intense hatred any of that it was a combination of that plus the spanish flu plus the hatred uh-oh hey william take not quiet. a step further child for you are unprepared you, at last. 
I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal oh, horse fix, shit. my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Crystal Lakes have been pissed in by the Toxic Avenger, maybe. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern scientific answer to this ancient mystical threat. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world. For she is hunger and anger. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. With the cosplay horns and everything? Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star. For they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. Well, more of a the grandmother. Morrigan. The Celtic goddess of war. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this. She is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease. Vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. 
Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. So, what I don't get here is, like, if he's the queen's helper or whatever, why is he at the same time trying to stop this thing that's her will? He's trying to stop her will, but he's also working for her? I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. No pressure. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. Hmm. hmm. Okie doke. Wonder if this is gonna be one of those deals where we have to sacrifice ourselves. That's where we're supposed to go. Well, probably that way. So I want to look this way first. I should. Damn it! I should have ate some rats. <laughs> Sewer sanitized. Eh. I saw some rats earlier and I didn't eat the damn things. I'd like to go in here full blood. Then we'll probably die at least once. Ah, damn it. Well, oh well. Nasty. Wait, Ankh, which way should I have turned around? <coughs> no, don't. <coughs> Shut up, Vulpix. Oh, I'm sick. So sick. Doctor, help me, please. I'm in such pain. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars, all of you. <coughs> oh. Oh. You nasty. <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. That you have. But the queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Sup? <laughs> Want to cover up there, ma'am? Oh, God. And stop vomiting? So, Ankh, was there a reason I should have went back first? Before? Tell me now, because I'll F4 if there's like a really, really, really good reason to. Otherwise, I'm just going to fight her. There was a prompt. Was it important? Fuck it. I'll do it real quick. Oh, it'll take me a second. The game restarts quick. I hate when games like kick you in a cutscene like that and like kind of lock you in. Like, I wish it would have shown me that she was down there. Yeah. Yeah, I just give her some uh, some Excedrin. She'll be fine. Some Flonase. What do you get for nausea? What's that, the medicine for nausea? Um, 
Benadryl? No. That's more for sinus, I think. Dramamine, yeah, there we go. So take responsibility for your actions. I don't count that as an action, per se. Per se. More like drama mine. Instead of drama mean. Is there, who is a prompt on? Ah, there we go. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. I do want to see what's over here real quick. Hey, it's been unlocked. I'm going to guess this goes back around. Okay. All right. There's a little flavor text there. Thought I heard rats. Hmm. All right, whatever. Wait. Yeah, hey, we'll go. All right, let's go fight her. I'm guessing what over here over is over here isn't that important. Yeah, walking is dumb. Don't walk. Walking is super dumb. You should Don't never walk ever. ever help me. I've been alone all <coughs> Shut up. Oh. oh god. And she's got the pukey shit all over. Her. That's gonna make this fun. What? Okay, wow. So like while I was like stunning her, apparently I took a shitload of damage. What's funny is, like, you still take damage a lot, like, the same speed. Even when you're doing that channeling, even though it's supposed to be, like, slow motion. Where is she now? She's in hell. You'll see her soon, bitch. I mean, I don't think we really want to bite this lady, but... Yeah, don't want to. I want to avoid that because. What? what the fuck was that? Bitch. Right, we definitely want to avoid touching her if at all possible. God, you're so nasty. You're so very nasty. I was a good uh, no, no, you you specifically just said you weren't. Uh, well, that might have killed uh, kill us. Wow. Oh, yeah. Fuck this on how much you healed us, I think. Oh, it's just not healing jack shit. Oh, wait. Is that going to be a healer? Yeah, that is, uh, is like, tyrant. Yeah, I regret it instantly using this thing. Because I'm like, well, we don't have her that low. She's not that bad. You just got... Well, I'm sure she'll have two phases or whatever. But she's not that bad so far. You just got to stay out of that fucking gas. Hey, hey, hey. Hello? What the fuck? Did you see that shit? Like, it had me stuck in the death animation. Or, like... It had me in the animation where I'm coming back, so I couldn't move. So she's sitting there wailing on me, getting free hits. That was fucking bullshit. Like, I'm sitting there, like, spamming dodge, and he's like, Oh, God, it's good to be back alive. It's like, fucking hell. Are you going to fuck me again? Cool. You didn't fuck me this time. That's nice. They took my daughter from me. Ah. Uh. Pain the fucking ass, bitch. Oh, wow. Whoa, what? why am I taking damage? There wasn't even gas. Oh, she hit me with her arm. I forgot. That's like super dot. Oh, 
There we go. That would be Stunder. Ugh, God, you're so nasty. Uh, not necessary. Not even like a little bit. Holy shit. The hitbox in that thing is craziness. Wow, that's just... What the fuck is that? Oh, we're dead. Yeah. Like, immediately when I hit her, immediately when I hit her, she immediately popped out gas. And that was enough. Yeah, everything has a huge dot. Like, with, with her and uh, Doris or whatever, like, everything has an enormous dot. Like, it's ludicrous. Like, if you get hit once, you're fucked. Like, that's half your health gone. My poor baby. Where is she now? Like, if it even, like, barely touches you. God damn it, dodge, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Ah. And that one you can't avoid, apparently. Bitch. Get a little cheesy there. Ah. I was trying to stun her, but it came out too late. Yeah, she stops uh, either like doing cheesy shit, like the like the instant hit with the gas bullshit she does, because like there's that attack she does. I think it's like a almost like a counter. Like you punt, you hit her, and you do damage, but she instantly surrounds herself with gas. So you instantly get the mega dot on you, regardless of what they you do. Took my daughter from no, me. fuck off. It's like that shit. <sighs> Keep forgetting that second part of that. Part of that, she's got an enormous uh, hit rate. Oh shit, I should have regular hit there. Ugh, God, stop. Stop. It's like you're wailing in your own sick. Like that part has crazy hitbox on it. Uh, you can get on her other side. Damn it, stop dodging to her right. Or whatever side this is. What? You just want to stay the way fuck away from her. Oh, God. I know I want to stay away from her, period. She can't smell good either. And she's got to smell pretty nasty. She's been vomiting on herself for a while. Sit down, Harriet. Oh, shit. Get the fuck out. All right, where's phase two? Oh, good. Shut up. Can I make the blood goddess's blood boil? Alright, hold on. Since I don't know if it actually saves during phases, which let's pray to fuck that it does. Uh, TNG. I'm 
going to um, also put one of the stamina regions. That's going to be T. All right. Wait. That's G. The healing is T. Feed your mother, child. Hundred fifty six percent my ass. Wait, did we use the right one? I feel like I used the wrong one. Yeah, I did. How did I use that one twice? Oh, they're backwards. I think. Okay, Jesus. Chill out. Oh, they blow up like little banelings, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. I guess she was serious when she said, eat for this is my body. Is it me or the... Prompts backwards for the different things. Am I crazy? Blood, feed me, give me their lives. Oh my god, she would go fucking ham on Uh, hello? You wanna do it? Nope, I guess you don't. That's cool. I didn't actually want to drink that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with the health one. Yeah, see, it says G here. But then T there. And then G back to G on that. Uh, that seems bad. I will reap the land myself. Abundant do the that. harvest, red the crop. Give me more. They are so young, so tasty. All right, now you can get a little creepy, Mom. Get a little creepy. Ha! Nice, nice reference. I don't know where we got this old blood from. Probably Harriet, because she's old. This is old blood. We're born of the blood. Made vampire by the blood. Undead by the, undone by the blood. Uh, obvious bloodborne reference. Um, regenerate. I want to do my stamina. So um, this is very confusing to me because I can't remember which one is which now. So this was the one that's correct, I think. All right, stop targeting her, please. You. Oh. Yeah, all right. Please, God, stop targeting shit. Well, that was a mistake. I should have just said bucket. All right, there was a stamina one. And it's so... Now my brain is so fucked up because I can't remember which one of these is actually correct. So I think this one's right, so G. Oh, no, that one's out. Uh, that's blood points. Blood points is also not a bad idea, though. Bloodborne is a very good game. I'm not going to say bloody good. 
because you should feel ashamed of that. Ah, you fucking bitch. You can stop that now. Such innocence. Such. Bitch, sit the fuck down. Nice bloody Do boobs, though. Think you're champion defeated me, my child? No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all. For you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? <laughs> Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us. <laughs> it's like a son visiting his old mom at the, next time. the old folks' home. What? What's going on? Where are my ch uh, Mom, please, go back to sleep. Mom, it's fine. Yep, they've suffered enough. Mom, just go back to sleep. Everything's fine. Relax. No, they didn't take your dentures, Mother. So They're still right here. Then, Econ. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? This is my realm, Econ. This is Suascal territory. Not really anymore. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. <laughs> no, not you. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above. In search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I'm sure. Likely story. I have story. no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury. When we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were mm -hmm. Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Econ, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. So, Mr. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long.
That's the DLC. I imagine. Or is it now? It's not going to show us the vehicle. Oh, well, no, it did. They did think they had the model and animations and whatnot for the vehicle. Well, this is it. Lady Asper's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? Oh shit, it's daylight. I guess. I know, we can't stop ticking off. Nope, can't do it. Find why Elizabeth's blood creates disasters. Okay. Oh, that's right, yeah, I forget about that aspect too. The whole like it was her blood. Oh, hey again. Let me just meander, because when you're around, I can only walk for some reason. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. What's with the bittersweet part of that? And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours, too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. Thanks. Like a stepson. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. What's she mad about? What's she so pissy about? She's like mad all the time, but you never get a reason why. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? I noticed that all the icors were female. As if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. 
Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the Vampire Hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you too are now on their dark list. What will become of the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is as wise as it is ancient. You have nothing to fear from it. I am not afraid. Do you truly think they are merely scholars poring over dusty books? The stole of St. Paul wielded faith sufficient to cast a dragon into the abyss. That is just a legend. Am I not a legend? Are you not about to become one yourself? Kind of already am, but I see no. what you mean. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural. My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest ones. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? No, not really. His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you, too. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? Wait, what? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the Lamb suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son. As is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare, Isaac Newton, Alfred the Great, <laughs> Francis Drake, Thomas More, Guy Fawkes. My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Creepy. Hmm. 
That leads me to think that the source of the epidemic is either going to be the William Marshall or maybe uh, what's her uh, Ashbury or what, whatever her name is. It's locked. All of right. course it is. The God damn it. Walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Uh, of course it is. The ultimate, the final, like, middle finger from the developers. Hey, guess what? This is the epilogue, but you still gotta find a way around this bloody goddamn locked door. But yeah, I'm wondering if we're gonna have to choose to kill her. Like, she's sort of the source of the epidemic. Uh, so as long as she's around, it's possible it could happen again. So we have to make the decision, do we finish her off? I'm guessing that would pro that's going to be a pretty big moral choice you'd have to make to end the game off with. I wouldn't be surprised if they go that route. Mary Inglewood, born Whitaker. Robin Inglewood. Those names are very familiar, but I can't remember why. Whitaker? Damn it. I can't attack or warp. I can't efficiently destroy barrels. I'm going to open this damn gate. So that if anybody else wants to come in, they can. Oh, wow. It's locked from both sides. What assholes. All right. Hey, why is the red goddess mad? She's just mad all the time, I guess. Son of a goddamn... I cannot enter. Yeah. The lady of the manor isn't expecting visitors. Well, too goddamn bad. Her boyfriend, who she doesn't even know she has, is on his way. Though I guess she kind of feels the same way, so fair enough. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Must she? Old letter. London, uh, August 4th, 1865. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contained. I cannot wait to finally meet you when you arrive in London. The garden is beautiful under the summer sky, although I noted your wish to avoid heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health. You're welcome any day. We'll discuss this wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundation of an orphanage for young ladies inspired by the French Maison Royale de Saint-Louis. Sure. Sadly closed when the French people chose my god i can't even write these words down to cut their king's head off such a place destined to provide a good education to gifted but poor orphan girls will surely excite my friends here in the city you can count on me and my influence to help make your project a huge success yours ever since yours ever sincerely countess alexandra somerset it's locked i was waiting to see if he'd have a little snide or Little comment. This castle is falling apart. You think? Really? Is it? No, nah, it looks fine to me. You can just throw some paint up there, some plants, some IKEA. Everything will be fine. Copy of a letter from uh, letter from 17, 17, September 1795. Dear Mr. McAllister, as the new legal owner of the Ashbury estate, I intend to quickly engage in the overdue maintenance and repair of the walls and the crypt of the castle. Among the few architects I invited to send forth proposals, I was most impressed by your suspect respectful approach concerning renovations on historical buildings and their preservation. I would be glad to meet you at your convenience. My only request would be to speak to you directly and not your assistance. Any evening of next month would be agreeable. You may come to the castle or I can meet you at your office as you prefer. If you agree to come to the castle, I could show you what kind of repairs and modifications I have in mind concerning the crypt, which may need considerable work and reconstruction. Very sincerely, Lady Ashbury. 1795. This is older than the last one, right? The last one was 1800 something. This was 1795. Like most castles, this one has a crypt. And it holds something special inside. It does. Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwood. In 1666. Well, well, well. Wait. I'm assuming... Wait, her name was Elizabeth, right? Shit. Uh, obviously, your last name's different. What the hell? Oh, Portrait of 
Jonathan Reed by Elizabeth Ashbury, 1918. Aww. Elizabeth, my love. You allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. It's weird that we can continue to interact with them. Usually you can't. Nice piano. Wait, this is where we were. Oh, I guess I just had to drop down then. Wait, no. I was going to say, I thought there was another room over here. She sure liked that painting of herself. I've done multiple times. Well, at least that, that's her, I believe. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, okay. I was super confused there. That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. All right. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. The sword and the shield. So her name, first name was Elizabeth, right? Pretty sure it was. <laughs> Painted of Lady Ashbury by Vincent Van Gogh, 1885. She just liked to collect portraits of herself. Recent letter. From July 1909, Dear Lady Ashbury, I thank you for your previous letters and ardent discussions about vampire folklore. It's now obvious we share an opinion concerning scientific and modern approach toward the need for blood and the cure of addiction. I must confess, I admired your charitable attitude when I met you at the Dunbury Sanatorium, and I am still impressed by your kindness when talking with humble and poor patients. I was delighted to read about the position of administrator at the Pembroke Hospital you financed since its founding. After a few days of deli deliberation, I'm happy to accept your offer. It will be, for me, an occasion to get back to the busy streets of London after years of public service in the beautiful but far quieter Scotland. I will be glad to meet you there and discuss with you further about immortality, its advantages and disadvantages, and how to enhance your condition. I look forward to our, our next meeting. Yours sincerely, Dr. Edgar Swansea. Cheating on me with that guy who's dead? Before we even met? That's still cheating. Uh, let's see. Can't interact with those swords and shields. I'm gonna guess this we're gonna have to find like something to uh, place on those. Wait a minute. Oh, rats. I don't wanna this eat her painting rats. Looks suspicious. Whoa, Jesus, that one? Oh, that's the uh, blood goddess that we fought. Red Queen, whatever. Door's been unlocked. So this was... Wait, is this how we came in? Yes. Yes. Yes, it was, I think. Wait a minute. Uh, where's... Aha! A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Interesting. That's a cool painting, though. The guy's about to get his ass whooped. Actually, she was a pretty easy fight, honestly. What was it? Uh, oh, a sword and a moon. The other symbols were like a sword... Sword and a shield. Of course, I've already forgotten how to fucking get there. Or where that was. Old contract, February 1807. Dear Mrs. Ashbury, when last we communicated, you asked for the con conveyance of a large coffin from Temple Church, London, to the crypt of the Ashbury Castle in Scotland. I'm happy to report your request has finally been validated. My drivers have been informed that for security reasons, guards must always protect the coffin. You have hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They also have been informed that under no circumstance should the carriage try to pass a river by boat, but always by road and bridges. For the precious wood and the relics inside the coffin cannot be exposed to humidity and moisture. You'll find a detailed quote for the entire operation attached to this letter. We are ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. So wait, I guess that whole river thing is 
true? We've, like, teleported over the river. Mm. Ah, feels a little uh, inconsistent. See, inconsistent like to me. Uh, whatever. Anyway. All right, so I want to go back in here. Wait. Never mind. Where was the damn? There's the that. I want this. One last switch, and what are these symbols? Okay. I can feel it. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do I need to push it again? I'm gonna push again just in case. One last switch, and uh, it's like a fire or something. Not a moon. Okay. Looking for a shiny one. I can't imagine it's too far from here. There's the painting. Surely it's in this room. Maybe it's inside the fireplace. Nope. Okay, maybe it's not in this room. Oh, wait. There it is. Voila. Okay, so that sounded pretty far away. Oh, there was something. Recent contract, April 1907. Diddy, uh, dear Lady Ashbury, I write to confirm that my men will be at your castle next Monday to begin the new work on the crypt and its access. The plans have been approved, and I personally be on site to supervise the installation of the locks and security measures you've requested. I can I also can assure you that my men have been briefed about never entering the crypt itself or the second floor of the castle. I must say I'm proud to continue to enhance the work started by my great grandfather when employed by your ancestor, quote unquote, in, in 1795. Well, it's cool that they're keeping the fam keep it in the family business. Hmm. Okay. Thought that might have opened it. Shit. Uh, I don't know where that opened then. Uh, this is going down. Nope. We've got to find the crypt. Just what a how? Wait, what? How unusual for a vampire to hang out in the crypt. Portrait of Elizabeth and Jacob Blackwood in Versailles. Versailles? 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 I never had to pronounce that. 1788. You know, she does like to keep portraits of herself. Which, you know, fair enough. Versailles. That sounds correct. Definitely correcter. Possibly the correctest. I think this is just loops. Yeah. Um... No, we just checked that. God damn it. Everything's got to be a goddamn maze with this place. Actually, let me... I know this doesn't make sense, but I'm going to check upstairs real fast. Because I thought it would be here since that's where the painting was. But... I thought it would be something opened up here. No. All right. It's got to be downstairs. It's got to be. It's a crypt. Even though those people were told not to go downstairs. Or to the second floor, rather. I hope it's not outside. So, it, God damn it, we're looping around again. Uh, so that... This goes out to the main area, right? Yeah. So we've already checked there. Check here. Nope. Ah. Wait, it wasn't in the fireplace, was it? Oh, God damn it, it was. Fucking son of a bitch. It sounded like it was far away, and I looked, I kind of peeked in there, and I didn't see it. Should have looked better, I guess. 
But it sounded like it was pretty far away. Uh, let me grab that. Ancient Tome, 1217. An angel came to me, blessed be to God. Michael appeared to me last night in all his glory, shaped in glorious blood, to grant me eternal life at the dusk of my life. The apparition was so sublime and terrible that I could not help but lower my head and close my eyes. Struck by the divine gift, I fell to the ground only to awake the next night. You will serve me as you served your king, said the angel, before striking me with all his power. You will protect this land through the eons to come. For all who knew me, I should now hide and retreat, for they consider me dead. Soon I will leave the company of men to serve my new purpose. Blessed be to God. Still not fix this damn cursor issue. Michael, uh, 1350. So, like, what, 60 years-ish later? 55-ish years? 50, or 53 years later? Something like that? Wait, no. A hundred and... 43 years later. It's a little bit of a time time gap. Michael appeared to me last night in my retreat under Temple Church and asked me to prepare for battle. The land must be saved. Death is everywhere. The Black Death, an epidemic sent by the devil himself to punish mortals all over the world. My arm is strong. In the name of God, I shall smite the enemies of mankind. England shall prevail. 1569. LOL, first of all. And secondly... 219 yeah 219 years later it's almost 20 years since my first fight started against the devil and the end is uncertain from time to time the plague the black death reappears in a village in a town and each time the vicious minions of hell approach to get their share of the mortal suffering vampires dreadful creatures i won't let this land collapse until my last breath i'll serve and protect england 1578 it's only nine years later. Tonight, in the small village of Hoddeston, I met the most delicate soul I've seen for a long time. She was singing for the dead, singing for those who she knew and loved, those killed by a new plague outbreak without fearing for her own life. Her voice moved, so I, wait, what? Her voice moved me, so I chose to let her live. I offered her eternal life as a reward for her virtue and most pious attitude. Her name is Elizabeth Inglewood. I'm not alone anymore. Together, we shall praise God in all his glory for the eons to come. Well, so it looks like she was from around 1578 then. So, yeah, she's been around. She's an old hag. She's like, what? This was like, what, 1915 right now? So, like, 340 years old plus, not including however old she was then. Doesn't look an a, a day over 20, though. 1618. My heart is breaking. My soul is bleeding. Tonight, my dear Elizabeth left me. I have taught her all I knew, all she needed to know. Now she must walk her own path through the ages. This is her wish, and I will respect it. Elizabeth Inglewood, my sweet daughter, is gone, but she now wants to be known as Elizabeth Blackwood. I made her a promise. If she ever comes back to Hoddeston, she will find me there, managing the bull inn her parents owned before dying. William Marshall shall disappear for a few times... Two, now that the Black Death is no more. Until we meet again, I shall be known as William Thorne, waiting for my angel to come back. Uh, then in 1665, another 50-ish years, the devil is at work again. The Great Plague is back, repeating, reaping thousands of lives in London. I must sell the Bull Inn and go there. Once more, William Marshall shall protect the land. Uh, a year later, 1666, what have I done? I let the devil infect me. God forgive me. The terrifying creature I had to defeat was a demon straight from hell, an abomination of the flesh, a walking apocalypse. I had to trap the dreadful creature in St. Paul's Church and set the building on fire. Without the advice of Michael, I don't know if I could have defeated my enemies. The flames cleansed the city of the demon's presence, but half of London burnt down. Ever since, I have dreamt of a red flood of slaughter and rage. It's like the disaster had tainted my blood, my very soul. For the first time in centuries, I am afraid. I shall crawl back to my retreat and pray to God for mercy in my infected soul. Another year later, 1667, Elizabeth, Elizabeth came to me. She said she felt my pain and rushed to save me. My poor daughter, blinded by rage, intoxicated by the blood of hate, I bit her. She fled, shocked by my betrayal. I laughed and cried as she cursed me. God, have I betrayed you? Have you abandoned me? 
uh, so like 30, 40, 35 ish years later in 1712, my prayers have been heard. I have found the strength to resist the need for blood, the never ending hunger. My poor Elizabeth, will you ever forgive me? I heard you now kill and take pleasure in bloodbath with this new progeny of yours. You're a victim in all this. What have I done? I swear I will find a way to make amends for what I have done to you. I swear I shall only rest once I know how to appease the blood of hate. Uh, let's see, 70 years later, 1785. The Brotherhood of the St. Paul's Stoll finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed to meet inside the new cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and solemnity of these men. What a symbol to choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed to the proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against the evil creature, the dust astro, the eater of stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. Their primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, the ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed by the Lord, I, it took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate, but I may have finally found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But that's the price of pay. Uh, that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes. I'm ready to endure that excruciating pain. That's the page we found earlier, obviously. Uh, so a year later, at 1786. Finally, sorry, this is a lot of reading, but this is probably pretty important. I finally managed to gather all the ingredients needed to concoct the tear of angels. Blood of the purest heart for the fortitude. Blood of a king for courage. Garlic essence for the painful cleansing. After months of impatience, almost made mad by the hunger, I waited again and again until finally Elizabeth cautiously came to me. As promised, I had chained myself to be sure I would not attack her again. I did not recognize my sweet daughter at first, for she only was Lady Blackwood now, the dreadful mistress of the dark who took delight in slaughter and carnage in France. She smirked as I apologized and cried for what I had infected to her inflicted to her. She shouted at me when I tried to explain to her that my bite had infected her, had given her the blood of hate, now burning in her veins, in her soul. I told her I had found a cure and that I had managed to create one dose of antidote. I gave it to her to give her back her previous life. In exchange, I only asked her to take care of me, for I intended to be locked down in my tomb, chained if necessary, to impeach me from feeding on any mortal or immortal. She reluctantly took the tear of angels and left. I hope to see her again soon, cured and at peace. Uh, 13 or about eight years later, 1794, she came back to me finally, cured, healthy, joyful, my Elizabeth. She told me she had drunk the antidote about a year ago in France after witnessing and taking part in the massacre of an entire orphanage caused by the blood of hate. That's when the Lady Blackwood died, she said. She promised she would take care of me now. That's all I ask as I repent for all the murdered souls caused by my negligence of more than a hundred years. 1795, a year later. My dearest daughter came back last week to tell me the good news. She had recently bought a castle in Scotland. She will soon finance the renovation of the castle crypt to provide me a new retreat. Far from temptation, far from the noisy, crowded cities, I can't wait to embrace the solitude. Find the peace I need to refrain from killing. God, please give me the strength to resist the urges during the journey from London to my new domain. Before I leave, I, shall, I should give a copy of these memoirs to the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll, without the most shameful and sensible information, of course. Soon I shall leave London to pursue my penance. There I shall find peace at last, with the support of my resuscitated resus, Elizabeth. So, so uh, I guess that the coffin that she was getting transported was him, and he is here now. 
uh, allegedly chained up to keep him from killing a bunch more people because he's tainted. So I wonder if uh, what's his face, the uh, leader of the uh, ass clown club, the ass cannon club, if he actually was sired by him and he was tainted. No, it would have been before that. I was going to say maybe he was tainted or he got sired after he got tainted, but I don't think that's the case. You have nothing to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. He's not looking so good. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Caution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? I was busy saving the world. Get off my ass. Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings. Former regent and saviour of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And... you called him father? For we read the note, darling. For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury Estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place? It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became... unwell. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. I don't quite understand why her blood made it happen since she was cured. Maybe she wasn't like 100% cure. She still has like a little bit of the taint and like that was just enough. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who's about to come into money. I took care of everything. <laughs> Now it's time for her to shape her future. Sounds like a rich person's fetish. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Oh, I, right. I get it. So like, even though she doesn't really suffer the effects of it anymore, she still carries it, a.k.a. healthy carrier. Why That's a good word for it. Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? 
He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. Also, can't we make more of that? He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. What do you do for him? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him with my blood. You feed him? You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. <laughs> Except you kind of do kill. Like, just because somebody's, like, about to die and you killed him doesn't mean you didn't kill them. Is he dangerous? Kind of splitting think? hairs. He is a thirsty Ekon who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. No redemption, then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But, you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. Uh, I'm the fucking doctor here. The antidote would not work on him. I tried. Believe me, I tried. Mm. But are you a doctor? William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Sort of. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Is Lady Ashbury's daughter also a vampire? Mm, I think... No, she's definitely not. Because she specifically wanted... Uh, like, her daughter specifically wanted to be turned into a vampire. And was, like, going on about it. I think that's the thing. I think they talked about that earlier. Where if a mortal and a vampire have a kid, it's like a 50-50 shot if it's going to be a vampire or not. <laughs> Super classist with blood purity. Uh, yeah, I see where the game developers are going. You sick bastards. Yeah, I know, right, Tally? Exactly. She's like, hey, the cure worked on me. It's like, uh, I mean, it kind of did. I mostly think. Well, I mean, I mean, you can read it as a classist message, but, I mean, they literally mean blood purity here. Like, and, like literal blood purity, because... That kind of goes back to the like blood vampire bloodlines, uh, the game like the pen and paper game. It kind of has the same theme of where like the original vampire, like the further away you go down the line from the original vampire, who was Cain from Cain and Abel, like in the Bible, the let the quote unquote less pure or uh, put another way a less powerful that vampire's blood was. That's why you get the whole thin bloods story element in vampire uh, bloodlines the game so that that kind of a theme is still going on but i i, I think that's like a very uh, specific i mean that's a very I th again i think they're not really trying to say oh like the pure nobles versus the lowly commoners i think they're like literally saying vampire purity yeah the vampire thing they left that out of the bible who are you really how could i answer that I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury, and that's all I wish to be. Is it? 
I understand. And I respect your desire for privacy. Thank you, Jonathan. Privacy. How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Econ for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. Sounds like uh, old school black and white classic bats flying in a cave sound in the background. Look at, listen out for it when she starts talking again. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. Aww. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Forgetting the danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Hello, I've just been sitting over here while you guys chat, ignoring me. Kind of rude. To be careful, and immediately puts himself in a hard to defend position. Yes, so William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing <laughs> is nah. what it used to be. I think your Dad, no. is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. King Richard? And Bodicea? How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Yeah, I whooped its ass. Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. <laughs> Well, it'd be funny if there's like something special that happens if you beat uh, Harriet or Henriette, whatever, without taking any damage. You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found That sounds like a place I'd like to live. Not with the, the rats, but the pudding lane. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. 
Well, it took me a few times to kill her, but I did. I mean, in the time that mattered, I kicked her ass. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift, and implacable. I wish your beer beard would stop clipping through your clothes. Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. They make really a good stakes there. God-forsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen? What of her? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It is a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. I think I do remember some of the, like, the skulls mentioning sometimes about hearing a woman voice in their head so i'm guessing all of them hear that do you remember murden your maker only god is my maker for he created everything on this earth well then the vampire he blessed guy. me with eternal life through his archangel michael but murden michael is a vampire he made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. Also, uh, Red Horned Guy, whatever the, his name is. Michael, as this guy is calling him. Um... He said something about, like, when we asked him if the infection was over, then he says something like, well, it's up to you and what you do. So I'm guessing we either have to kill him or Elizabeth. Hmm. Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? Yeah, I want to know how he got infected exactly. disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral. I return to my retreat, infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me, for she heard my pain from across the sea. So, like, how did he get infected, exactly? Was it, like, literally she just, like, hit him one time or bit him one time and he became infected? I don't recall that. It might have mentioned that in the notes, but I don't remember the specifics. Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church. Beneath my empty tomb, I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her You definitely again. did that. Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way to make things right. 
it's kind of funny. Like we just read all of that in his notes. So we're kind of going over it again. It's not a big deal, but. How did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. When was that? It was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn. Owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good years. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Silence. I feel you there, bro. You agreed to be confined here, then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. We could set you free. Let you out. Ah, uh, that seems like a Isn't horrifically you want? stupid I idea. I for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time? You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. Look into what my beard, mean? baby. We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. She's like, you do have a convincing beard. That is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must, until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to starve for centuries. I doubt we can do the same. You That's say we. Wrong, Elizabeth. 
Since I murdered my poor Mary after my rebirth, I vowed to never ah. take a life again, and I've succeeded. Ding ding. I'm not sure I have the strength of character. I'm not like William. I'm not like you. Let me teach you then. Come with me, my love. Oh, Jonathan, if only this could be true, but I really don't know. We'll run away. Go to the deepest forests, the highest mountains. Untouched by man, we'll hide in solitude until I find a cure. Do you trust me then? Until the end of the world, my love. Damn right, I better get the good ending. Yeah, as soon as he said, uh, or she said One the thing about the not killing. Called by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe for you have prevailed. I wish you a peace duly earned for the centuries America. yet to come, and they will come. I bid thee farewell, my champion bittersweet. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Let's go where there's no people, honey. Oh, we can go to Canada. Oh, yeah, there's no actual people in Canada. We'll go there. We have to worry about feasting on humans or intelligent beings. All right. Woohoo. So we did get so that is the good end. I mean, I can imagine an even better ending. Um, so how many endings are there, by the way? Have they? Well, I'm, I'm sure people figured out how many. I'm guessing like three. There's probably one where like this one where you don't kill anybody. Uh, well, we technically killed what's her face, the one pillar, the one who was doing the the good work, uh, the Lord's work, the healing in that one section of town. Uh, but that was we didn't like drain her. We didn't drink from her. We just killed her. Uh, so I guess he has a count. Uh, so then there's probably one where you kill a few people, but like not many. And then there's probably one where you just like like kill a, like X a number of people Four endings. Wow. Okay, it's more than I was thinking. Cool. So they not said specifically how many there are. Maybe there's like some hidden ones. Maybe there's like an S plus ending where you do everything right. So does the health of this districts matter at all then, Ankh? So like if everything is, I mean, because I'm trying to think. So I, I don't know if a district can even go into like chaos or lost district if you don't feed on people like i don't know if that actually is possible if they get that sick uh they matter the majority of the people have to be healthy huh interesting well i'm definitely glad i didn't rest then after we we uh got all the districts cured because we had like one person who was sick and i just didn't want to run around uh trying to to heal people but i'll probably after this stream's over i'll probably go check out the other endings i'm curious to see uh what they are but yeah as soon as she said the thing about like oh we have to we have to kill we have to have blood i was like oh here we go i was like he's gonna mention like i didn't do it bitch ignoring the like dozens and dozens of people i drank on the entire game forget all that don't pay any attention to that but um they deserved it, so it was different. See, we could just feed on bad people, like Canadians, and it'll be fine. But uh, anyway, let me uh, wrap up my thoughts on the game here. Just is where I get my off-the-cuff review. Overall, I did enjoy it quite a bit. The story was uh, was was interesting. Uh, I liked the whole investigation into what was causing the epidemic, and like not only the local one, but also the the long-term one. Uh, Finding out, figuring out, like trying to piece it together yourself, figuring out what was going on with Elizabeth, uh, all that. The characters were, were mostly interesting. The voice acting was good for the most part. Uh, some of the faces were weird. Like that one guy, the hobbit looking shopkeeper dude. I mean, I wanted to bully that guy. Um, yeah, that was definitely not half an hour, Ankh. That was like an almost an hour just of dialogue, which is fine. I don't mind a lot of dialogue at the end. As long as it doesn't feel like the game has been stingy with story exposition 
and then just drops like half of it at the end. I don't feel like they did that. I felt like if you were paying attention, you were kind of piecing together things as you went along. Uh, I figured the, the whole talking about William Marshall so much, I figured something was important with him. I didn't know if we were going to meet him exactly, but I figured he was going to be prominent given how often they bang on about him. I wish we would ask William Marshall if he knew, if he knew uh, what's his face, uh, the, the ass clown club. So I could go back to him and be like, yeah, see, I actually met him. And he said he didn't know who the fuck you are. So, but uh, yeah, I liked all the, the story elements. Uh, I thought it was, it was fun. It was interesting. Uh, gameplay wise, the combat was okay. Uh, the, like, uh, the hitboxes were often a little off and stamina often felt like it was too slow to come back. Uh, so it felt like you're stamina starved, which that would have helped if I'd have picked, boosted out my stamina a little bit near the end. Uh, the parrying system was was borderline broken, if not just flat out broken, because most games, if you try to parry and you mistime it, you just you take the hit. But in this game, like even if you parry too early, you still hit the enemy and a lot of times interrupt them. So you get still get stun damage. You still get a reg like a very tiny amount of regular damage. And you often interrupt them, keeping them from hitting you in the first place. So, which, again, this game is not supposed to be Dark Souls or Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. It's supposed to be just, you know, good enough if you're mostly here for the story. You can, Which also, by the way, I think it's interesting that uh, the uh, that there's not difficulty options. I find that... Given the type of company Don't Nod is or Do Not Nod or whatever it is, uh, is I'm very surprised they didn't. I don't mean I'm not saying it's a problem, but I'm quite surprised it wasn't. They didn't have that. The other line may have been sold in his game by being told it was an RPG with terrible combat. I, I don't. I definitely wouldn't say the combat was terrible. Like I mean, if you want some terrible games or games with some terrible combat, if I think about it. I haven't played a game recently with terrible combat. Usually older stuff. The older games tend to have super bad uh, combat. A lot of our old RPGs. Um, but um, but yeah, the combat was okay. Uh, it was very, very frustrating at times. Uh, and I do think it was probably more... To, and the developers... And the reason I decided to go with this passive playthrough... Because I was watching the developer diaries... And they said that the less people you kill, the harder the game would be because you'd have less experience, which I actually was thinking the opposite at first, because I'm thinking, oh, if you kill more people, the game's going to be more difficult because you're going to have less quests. The the area is going to go into like more chaos. You'll probably run into more enemies, etc. Wait, actors by role. What? Mary, female. Oh, Amber Goldfarb. Oh, she did all of that, I guess. Wow, there's, there's people like the person who did Elizabeth apparently did like half the cast, I think, if I read that read. Anyway, but um, I, I was thinking the other opposite. So I'm glad I saw that little developer diary thing because that's how I decided to go the pacifist run. And I figured a lot of people maybe not doing a pacifist run or not, I keep saying pacifist, but uh, I don't know what other term to use. Sorry, the cat stepped on the keyboard. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. But um, I, I just call it a pacifist playthrough. I don't really know. You know what it, what I mean in this case. You don't intentionally kill any of the key NPCs and try to do the good stuff. Uh, but I figured a few people might go that route, or, or not many people would. So that's the other reason I wanted to try it. But uh, I do. But that said, I feel like if you only kill like one or two people, the difference is going to be really, really small. So if you're going to kill people, kill like four or five, and then I feel like. Now you're going to start getting a much bigger uh, difference in in how strong your character is, because uh, you'll be able to level more, obviously, and uh, you know have more hit points, do have more spells, stuff like that. But um, and I did. Like, that's a good point too. The uh, Alosius or whatever, like you want to kill that guy. Like he may like a little over the top made you want to kill him. Like he tried. They have like every negative evil trait that make you want to kill him. Uh, so I, I feel like they did a pretty good job on that having and they had a few characters like that the Cox dude uh, the, the squirrely dude with the stupid mustache who you wanted to kill just with the mustache but he was also just a douche a douche uh, that you wanted to kill him for that so I think they threw in I like that they weren't just all nice people 
and you're like, oh gosh, I really hate to kill it. Uh, I like that they actually threw in some some scummy people that you'd want to take out. But um, I would be really curious. I wish they would have done this. But I really wish they would have had stats at the end of the game that showed you how many people, like, how many people didn't kill anybody, how many people killed less than three people, how many people killed, like, everybody, you know, and then show of the NPCs which ones got killed by the player the most. I guarantee characters like uh, Cox Dude, the guy, the, basically the bad people, I bet those numbers are significantly higher. Yes, exactly. I'd like to see a Detroit, not even a timeline, just like a, just a count of, okay, this character got killed by X percentage of players, stuff like that. I think that would have been really neat to do. It's a shame they didn't do that. Maybe they had those stats. I don't know. But anyway, uh, the combat, like I said, was okay. Um, the skill system and the disease system was interesting in that you had to sleep to level up. And then when you slept, people got sick. That made things a bit tedious, especially combined with traveling around town, which was awful. Probably the worst part of the game was just moving from place to place because everything, like the whole city's laid out like in just a schizophrenic, ass crazy, ass crazy, sure, ass crazy method with the streets just going everywhere and locked doors all over the goddamn place. Just made getting around the city a, just a tedious fucking chore which I really don't understand why they did that. Like, what it was added to the game by that. They also didn't put a fast travel system in, which they desperately should have, because, for a few reasons, I don't always believe in fast travel. But when I do, the game has pain in the ass navigation, check, uh, a ton of backtracking, a big check on this one, because of the disease system, because when you sleep, more people are going to get sick every single time. And if you want to keep your levels high i guess the health level's high you have to go back and it's just tedious as hell especially and another check enemies that respawn all the damn time it's just and i understand why they respawn it's so that you can farm materials for mats and upgrades and stuff like that so that's fine within reason but either make the map layout more straightforward and not a spaghetti mess or give us fast travel. One of those two things. Like I said, it just made traveling around town a huge pain in the ass and a chore. And by far, I think the biggest flaw in the game is is just traveling around. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much all of my thoughts on Vampire. Uh, Vampire. I, I am definitely going to go watch the endings after the stream's over. I'm curious to see what the other endings are. Uh, I want to see, and I'd be curious to see what those, what you need to do to get them. But, uh, and also too, if you've been watching this series and you played this, I'm curious to find out, like, how did you play? Did you kill, like, who did you kill? How many people did you kill? What ending did you get? I'd like to know that. But anyway, as far as a numbered score, one to 10, where, uh, where a five is an actual five. Uh, to me, a five is a game that's got about equal parts good, equal parts bad. Um... I'd give this game about a seven, uh, which again, this is not an IGN seven. Like to me, seven is still a good game. Like it's worth playing. Uh, the story was interesting enough to keep me interesting. I didn't think the story was amazing. Uh, the side quests were fairly okay, uh, but I do think uh, I liked how the the characters also interconnected, like finding out stuff about these these NPCs that you deal with, uh, finding out little hints stuff like that about them. I think that was neat. Uh, and I think that is the I think that is the focus of the game. Uh, so I don't really mind as much in that case that the combat was okay, but at least they tried, right? Like it wasn't like uh, Life is Strange, but there was pretty much l almost literally no gameplay at all. They did do something with the combat, and again, it's it's passable. It works. It doesn't feel awful to play. The checkpoint system was pretty fairly generous, uh, despite some issues with. Uh, starting with low blood and that bizarre in between they went with where you spawn at a checkpoint and you keep the items that you picked up but any enemies you killed respawn and also if you use any items those items are gone like a bizarre uh i'm not gonna say it i know you want me to say it but like a system where you you save at a checkpoint but it comes back and it's like 
you did some of the stuff, but not really. I, they should have just made it a re like a, just reload to save. Bring me back the items because you can get into a nasty situation where you use up all your healing items or your gun uh, or your bullets on a boss fight and then you die. Well, well now you're really boned because all your items are gone. In a game that's focused on combat, like Dark Souls uh, or Devil May Cry or you know any other more hardcore battle or combat focused game, I think that's okay. In this game, not so much. Most people are going to be playing this for the story, and I, I feel like there should be some leniency there. Uh, and honestly, it made me just almost never use items until the very last fight because I knew, well, this is it anyway. So, Scroff mentions replayability. Um, it depends. If you really like the story and if you really want to get some of the collectibles you might have missed and you really want to see what it's like to go with a different story, I could see some replayability there. Uh, I do feel like... And again, I haven't seen enough to really know because I only played, you know, this one way. I don't get the impression that the game is going to be that much different. I'm sure there'll be some quests that you'll miss. There'll be references like an NPC will mention that somebody died, something along those lines. But I don't. And again, this is just, again, pure speculation because I haven't watched or you know, I've watched any other gameplay. I get the impression it's not that much difference. Uh, unless you kill like really like killing Dr. Swansea probably like early on uh, if that's even possible uh, is probably a big difference. In fact you probably can't even kill Dr. Swansea I bet early on. I bet his mesmerized level is too high until you get to the end. But uh, but I mean, it's it's possible um, to, to play through and, and not be too bored with it. You could try different builds as well I suppose. Uh, that would be a thing especially when you're getting more experience but anyway yeah, about a seven is what i would rate this as far as a price i was thinking of a price review what i think a good price for this to be for a normal quote unquote normal nerd like me who's just going to play through this game once uh you know do most if most or all the side missions do a little exploration but not try to 100 percent the game not play it multiple times i don't know i i would be happy with about 30 i forget how much is this game by default I mean, it felt like fairly long too, to be fair. So 50, I feel like 50 might be a touch high. I do know there was a lot of voice acting, which I very, definitely appreciated. Having to read all that text, I would put a bullet in my head. 50 does seem a little bit high though. Uh, that seems, that seems high. Yeah, 30, maybe 40. If you were going to like play through multiple times and try to 100% it, 40 might be all right. But I think 30, uh, maybe wait until 30. Like, and I'm sure it will go on sale. Everything does eventually, sooner rather than later uh, these days. But I think 30 is a fair price. Again, if you're just going to play through it once, not try to maximize all that. But um, yeah, voice acting was probably a huge cost, uh, which is unfortunate, but that is the way it is. Uh, and I think they did mocap too. And I think, well, actually, I've heard mocap is not that bad anymore. I've heard it used to be expensive, uh, but nowadays it's not like as bad as it used to be but anyway let me wrap up for the youtube folks and then twitch hang on and we'll figure out what we're doing uh but uh youtube folks thank you guys for watching the series again let me know if you've played this game i'm curious to find out uh who did you kill if anybody and what ending did you get uh, i'd really like to hear that but um, anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, i will see youtube folks next time